Good morning, my friends. Uh, this week's grammar lesson is two comparative tenses in the future. One will be future continuous tense and the other one is future perfect tense. As the name suggests, both are in the future and again, as the name suge names suggest, uh, continuous means it will be still happening in the future and the perfect means it will have been completed in the future. The structure we use here is for the continuous tense, as you can see, uh, will be studying and will have finished. So the structure will plus be and verb ing and for perfect tense the structure is will plus have and past participle. Uh, just have a look at the future continuous first. Uh, just as I said, the structure will be will and won't be plus ing form. And when do we use? Will be in progress at a specific time in the future. When you come out of school tomorrow, I'll be boarding a plane, right? So right that time, at that time, it will be happening. Try to call before 8 o'clock. After that, we'll be watching the match. You can visit us during the first week of July. I won't be working then. Uh, this is simple. As long as you remember if the activity is completed or in still progress. And when we see things as new, different, or temporary. Today we are taking the bus, but next week we'll be taking the train. So. Uh, it will be like only for next week, that means. He'll be staying with his parents for several months while his father is in recovery. And will you be starting work earlier with your new job? Just questions of changes in life. And future perfect, again I'll repeat the structure, will plus have has, sorry there is no has after will, always have. Then past participle. Uh, when do we use? When the activities will be completed in the future at a certain time. The guests are coming at 8 p.m. I'll have finished cooking by then. Before 8, the cooking must be done. On 19th, 9th October, we'll have been married for 50 years. Will you have gone to bed when I get back. For example, you are going out and you ask your parents, will you have gone bed when I get back? Or rather maybe parents will ask you. And we can use phrases like by, by the time, in, in a day's time, two months time, five years time, like meaning at the end of this period, to give time period in which the action will be completed. I won't have written all the reports by next week. By the time we arrive, the kids will have gone to bed. I'll have finished in an hour and then we can watch a film. So these are the two sentences related to future. One for the activities happening, one for the activities which will have been completed. So. The structures, as I said, can give a clue to you. And if the event is completed or not, also you can refer to uh, some time phrases at the end of the sentence. Uh, if you still have questions, I'm contactable. Thank you very much. Bye.